hello welcome to tech shimit in this session we will see how we can create a program to print the fibonacci series okay so before that uh, firstly we will see what exactly the fibonacci series is so in the right hand side i have write one series that is fibonacci series so what it means like uh, in fibonacci series the first two values are always fixed like 0 and 1 and after that the third value will be calculated by adding the previous two values so if we do in such way then it, we will be able to print the fibonacci series so uh, see like here the first value is 0 and second value is 1 so the third value is the sum of first and second value so the output is 1 now if we check for these two values so here 1 and 1 so next value is 3 uh, next value is 2 and if we see for these two values like 2 plus 1 so then we got the 3 and so on so Uh, the next uh, the third value is the sum of the previous two values and the first two values are always fixed that is 0 and 1 so this is the fibonacci series now we will see the logic of this program so here i have created one fibonacci series uh, program so i will open that program into edit mode so here in on line number 10 uh, i have write one control option that is mainly for the debugging purpose so you guys can also sp skip this line if you want but if you want to uh, debug your program then you can uh, it would be great if you put this line okay so it is up to you and below to that uh, here the declaration part is started so for this logic i have declared four variable that is first second and uh, third and count okay so if you observe properly these all uh, variables are numeric values uh, Uh, and it will store only up, uh, numeric values up to four digit and mainly the first two variable i have declared uh, i have initialized some value in the first two variable that is 0 and 1 so as we discussed in series like first values will be 0 and second will be 2 as uh, second will be 1 so that's how we have initialized the values 0 and 1 and the f uh, third var variable we will use to calculate the Uh, values okay so we will see in the logic how we can make use of this third variable and then the fourth uh, variable that is count we are using this variable just to iterate the loop okay so now from line number 19 we will see the logic so here i am using the do while loop so what it will do it will check the value of the count and it will iterate one by one so as per the logic if uh, this value is not equal to 11 then it will uh, loop will be uh, iterated otherwise it will get terminated so once the values change uh, once the count values reach to 11 it will terminate the loop and come out of the screen okay and just in the loop what we are doing just in the loop we are doing uh, we are uh, doing uh, firstly we are printing the variable first that is first so it uh, initially it is holding zero so it will print zero and below to that we are uh, calculating the third variable that is one first plus second so in the third variable first plus second like uh, if we see here so zero plus one is the third variable so that's what we are doing here first plus second equals to three uh, third variable and below to that what we are doing we are uh, just uh, moving the second variable value to the first variable and Uh, uh, below to that we are moving the third variable value to the second variable so mainly these three lines are important for printing the fibonacci series here we are just in the first third variable we are calculating the values that is uh, first plus second and in first variable we are just moving the value se second and in second variable we are moving value third and in the bottom line number 20 25 we are just iterating the count variable by one value so what it will do it will iterate the loop one by one and uh, until the value of count uh, reaches to 11 once it is reaches to 11 it will terminate the loop and came out of the screen and uh, in line number 28 we are using star inlr equals to star on it means uh, our program uh, our compiler will understand that okay so this is the last line for uh, last record of the line okay so we are just setting the indicator so line number 28 and line number 10 are mandatory for the rpg li program uh, 10 is not uh, mandatory but it would be great if you put this line so that it will help you to debug the program uh, 
okay so now we will see the output so just compile the program now call it so if you want to call the program either you can write here call and program number number otherwise uh, program name otherwise you can directly call from op by giving the option c so here we can see the output 0 1 1 2 okay so you can compare these value from the right hand side of uh, Fibonacci series so we are getting the uh, expected output that is start from 0 and uh, and till 55 because we are printing only the 10 digit of Fibonacci series okay so that, that's uh, all for this uh, logic mainly uh, the concept of the Fibonacci series that if you want to uh, uh, increment the series then you have to take the sum of the uh, previous two values like if I press uh, if I add 0 and 1 then the output will be 1 and then 1 and 1 then 2 and so on so it will uh, we will print uh, Fibonacci series like this so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching Tech Chermit.